Et bien bonjour à tous les amis, je suis Pop-Up, bienvenue pour un nouvel épisode sur WWE 2K24. On va reprendre l'histoire principale après avoir fini un peu toutes les quêtes secondaires qu'on avait à faire à cet endroit-là. Donc c'est parti, on va parler avec Troy. Good news. Miz is finally ready to have that face to face you've been begging for ever since you got back from NXT. It's about time. Should I go to his office? Oh no. He wants to see you in the ring after your next match. <laughs> okay. What does Miz have planned this time? It's nothing to be worried about. Just go take care of business in your match, and then you'll get your face time with the boss. On dirait un piège. This sounds like a total setup. So, as you put it, I'm gonna get back to sports entertaining and hold off on walking into yet another Miz ambush. It's that type of attitude that prevents you from making the leap to that Roman Reigns type level. But suit yourself. Okay, d'accord. Bon, j'ai pas trop le choix a priori. Did you reconsider Miz's offer about meeting him in the ring after a match? I promise you won't regret it. Bah, je l'ai mis sur le ring du coup. It doesn't seem like I have much of a choice at this point. Tell Miz I'll see him out there. This is going to be something the WWE universe will never forget. I'm sure. Super. Alors, oh, la reine BCW, BCW, c'était euh, WWE 2K19, euh, donc euh, 2K19. La seule, l'autre la, carrière que j'ai faite sur euh, sur les jeux WWE. Donc euh, cool de voir ça. Et le Multi Universal Infinite Championship qu'on avait gagné à ce moment-là. Cool. Alors, on va entrer dans un portail histoire. Cela fait pour assez l'histoire. Ok. Souhaitez-vous continuer Oui. On passe du coup au chapitre suivant de l'histoire principale. Alors, comment on sait qui est-ce qu'on va avoir affronté Le Latino World Order, du coup. One of the hardest hitting high flyers around. Ready for takeoff. Santos Escobar, du coup, qui s'est attaqué à Rey Mysterio il n'y a pas longtemps. Il a quitté la LWO. Et il est temps de payer respect au boss de la rue. Santos Escobar ne joue pas de games. Escobar est calme, steady, calculated et fait ce qu'il a fait pour succéder. Quand Escobar a joué WWE, il est arrivé ici sous un masque. Mais il a rapidement mis le passé derrière lui. Il a évolué. Il a devenu le superstar que nous connaissons aujourd'hui. Cette évolution semble être une chose très bonne pour Santos. C'est un superstar qui ne pouvait pas être dénoncé et maintenant électrifie le WWE Universe. Et son opponent, de la presse, weighing in à 1955 The champ's next challenge starts now. Great action unfolding here on Alors, on va voir si on a des consignes. WWE Universal Champion takes on Santos Escobar in a non-title okay. encounter. 
The Dark Horse has been in the doghouse since his trip down to NXT. Maybe GM Miz will throw him a bone soon. Why should he? The champion abandoned Miz and SmackDown. If it were up to me, he'd be taking up permanent residence in that doghouse. And the gear finds his get... mark. From the middle rope, breathtaking Hurricane Rana. Oh boy, he's stalking him, watching for an opening. Oh my God, what an elbow. Up and around, down with a tilt the world backbreaker. And that might have shook Escobar to his. Can he score the pin? Ça va être un peu juste, mais bon. And he breaks the count quickly. Could be in search of a second win now. Great reaction from Santos. Yeah, but Escobar needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. This could be it. Cover. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. Not enough pressure on the pin. Uh-oh. A rolling thunder. And a frog splash. Pow, what a shot. Gets him with the counter. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Evades their offense. Great counter. Escobar. Phantom driver. Escobar has this wrapped up. Kicks out before one. I'm having a hard time believing that one. I've lost count of how many times this match should have ended by now. And Escobar didn't see that coming. Caught with a clothesline. A drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. He's looking a little weary now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Escobar looks lost. Hey, finisher. Won't like what's coming. Oh, looks like we're gonna see it. Slice bread. Feeling like it's over for Santos. Two. The undefeated WWE Universal Champion with another victory in his impressive reign. He's been on an absolute tear since he was stripped of the NXT Championship. It certainly well, seems to have given him oh, some oh, extra oh, motivation. Well, here's the source of that extra motivation, The Miz. I know you've been dying to have it out with me face to face since your little trip down to NXT. But I've been working on something that makes it so I don't ever need to talk to you again. Something that makes you irrelevant. And not just to me, but the entire WWE Universe. Because let's get one thing straight. I wasn't going to sit back and let you jump ship and steal my WWE Universal Championship again. No. I'm taking control my brand's most important asset by creating a new one. So as we head down the road to WrestleMania, it's my pleasure to announce that SmackDown will send a champion to the showcase of the immortals who we can be proud of. Not a universal champion forever in the shadow of Roman Reigns, but instead someone whose star shines brighter than the universe itself. So allow me to introduce the first ever multiversal infinite champion, Logan Paul. Haha, <laughs> Logan Paul, vraiment? You gotta be kidding me. Can Miz really do this? He can until someone with a bigger paycheck stops him. Finally, we have the must-see champion I've always wanted. Stop right there. You better not come any closer, because if you lay a hand on my real champion, you will face severe consequences. Besides, I don't need my new champion fighting someone who's meaningless. Now let's go to break 
with no shots of the irrelevant champion. I still can't believe Miz did this. The road to WrestleMania just took a very unexpected detour. Ok, <rire> encore un retournement de situation. Alors, Logan Paul, super hâte que l'ère du champion Multiversal Infinite commence à SmackDown. Ça va être le feu, champion. Tu fais le buzz dans le monde entier depuis la semaine dernière. Évidemment, mise. Je vais être clair, j'avais pas besoin de protection. Si Pop Up avait posé, osé venir ici, je l'aurais frappé assez fort pour que lui-même oublie son existence. Je sais, Logan, pas la peine de te salir les mains. Oui, oui, oui. Ludwig Kaiser, qui sont nous parler. Pop Up et Logan Paul s'affrontent pour savoir qui est le vrai champion. Mais on sait tous que Kunzer, le roi, est gloire au ring général. Ok, donc ça veut dire qu'on va affronter Gunther Ça me va. Alors, on va voir un peu ce qui va se passer. Il y a Troy qui souhaite nous parler du coup. Where's Miz We need to talk about his latest stunt. Sorry, Miz is at a press junket with his new multiversal infinite champion. So many outlets want to talk to Logan. <laughs> Did you know he has over 80 million followers across his various social media platforms? How many do you have? Don't know, but I have a lot more wrestling wins than Logan Paul. He's a part-timer who shows up even less than Roman did. <laughs> and more importantly, I actually won my championship instead of it being made up and handed to me by The Miz. Cool. All championships were made up at some point. But anyway, enough talk. You better go get ready. Now that you're mostly irrelevant, you've been relegated to the opening match slot. Okay. Seriously? We go live in 30, so be at Gorilla a few minutes before that. We're going to start the show with you already in the ring. No need to see your entrance for the millionth time. Have fun out there. Okay, donc on part sur un rôle de jobber. Euh, la Gorilla, c'est la Gorilla Position, c'est là où euh, tous les producteurs de WWE sont. C'est juste derrière, euh, enfin c'est juste avant l'entrée. Voilà. Avant d'entrer sur, sur la scène. Pas d'entrée pour nous du coup. On va être directement sur le ring avant le générique. Et donc euh, voilà. On n'a pas d'entrée, c'est qu'on est plutôt un, un jobber en général. Alors, j'ai entendu parler de ce qui s'est passé la semaine dernière. J'arrive pas à croire que Pop Up a balancé aussi vite un titre que j'ai rendu aussi prestigieux dans le divertissement sportif. C'est gênant. On arrive, Roman. Enfin, plutôt, quand tu seras là, on pourra en parler. We know Miz has big plans for his new Baron Corbin. champion Logan Paul, but it is strange to see the WWE Universal Champion okay, opening the Baron. show with no fanfare or anything. He didn't even get an entrance. Miz's plan to relegate the Dark Horse to the undercard is in full effect. It's sabotage. All the attention is going to the made-up multiversal infinite champion and not our real champion. This is malarkey. Uh-oh. Way too oh! Terminé. Alors ensuite. Here we go. The WWE Universal Champion is going to put Logan Paul in his place. You're as gullible as the dark horse, Saxton. Paul's not here, but that doesn't stop him from messing with the champ. Check out this. All the way down. The amount of force behind that. Is enough to knock a normal person out. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Oui, c'est moi qui fais une erreur, complètement. Ma faute. Is feeding off the WWE universe. Moves outside. What's the plan here? N'importe quoi. Climbs back inside. Running Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Big clothesline. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. 
Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh. Right in the face. My God. Arm ringer applied into the top wrist lock. Full control now. Now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. Looking wobbly in the corner. Power drop kick. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Calf kick right on point. He's struggling a bit here. Hey, yeah, but you can't count out. anyone out yet. This match could... Up and over for sliced bread. And that can vanquish Corbin. Two count. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Marantz. Oh, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? Not at all what Corbin wanted. This might only increase his rage. Ok, on a battu Baron. Du coup, on a été assez vite du coup, sur ces deux matchs. On va continuer un peu quand même. Alors, vous avez entendu la foule rugir quand elle pensait que le champion multiversal Infinite allait apparaître. Dommage, je ne peux pas être là ce soir à cause de plusieurs obligations publicitaires. Mais votre passion et votre énergie me donnent la force pour la prochaine fois. Et si tu trouves que la réponse de la foule était impressionnante, attends de voir quand tu défendras le multiversal Infinite Championship à WrestleMania. L'univers de la WWE va exploser. Ou pas Finn Balor, The Prince. Hey, I just want to say, I know how it feels to make it to the top as the Universal Champion, and then suddenly have the rug pulled out from under you. Ok, Finn Balor, c'était le premier champion universel, euh, et il a dû euh, rendre vacant le titre le lendemain de sa victoire suite à une blessure. C'était euh, Demi Lepaule sur un match contre Seth Rollins. Yeah, it's less than ideal. At least you're still champ, though. I got hurt and had to give up the Universal voilà. title after only 24 hours. Then, never got a chance to get it back when I returned. That actually gives me an idea. Especially with Miz out of the picture tonight. What are you thinking? If Miz wants to relegate me to the opening match, maybe we go out there and show him we are main event players. So we basically hijacked the main event slot tonight? <laughs> yep. I get to prove my value around here. And you get the Universal Championship match you never got. Win-win. I love it. I'm in. Okay. We'll start the match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. And a front fin battle, du coup. Finn Balor is here. And it's time for the WWE Universe to face their judgment. Representing, hop, 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 representing the Judgment Day. Alors ce plan. Have such a deep connection with the WWE universe, but he's throwing all that away with this new attitude. I'd argue that was the smartest thing that Balor's ever done. 
Finn used to be the guy who let glory slip through his fingers, who fell just short of expectations, but now he's living up to his hype and much more. Balor famously became the first ever Universal Champion, but had to surrender the title to injury. And he's had some measure of success since then, but he's become bitter, he's become jaded. Uh, you speak lies, Cole. Finn Balor simply realigned his values. He knows now what he must do to return to the mountaintop, and he's more prepared to do so. Ah, je préfère son ancien thème perso. Et voilà, c'est un thème qui a été remixé pour faire partie du Judgment Day. Lui qui fait partie du Judgment Day. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. With the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more he has to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. Introducing the challenger from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! And his opponent from France, weighing in at 155 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion French Thomas. Allez, c'est parti du coup. The championship of all championships. Pour le championnat. Un match. Contre le prince. Finn Balor. Réalisé trois combos contre Finn Balor. Ok. He and Finn Balor took it upon themselves to schedule this match. Good for our real champion for taking advantage of the opportunity. This kind of blatant insubordination is what got him into this situation in the first place. There's bound to be consequences here. Boom! A forearm smash! And Zagiri finds its mark. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Finn really having trouble with this defense. Ah, par contre, ça va être un match, du coup, il va falloir faire des choses. Allez, on va la deux. Après. C'est l'arbitre. Allez, on va à 3. Continuez d'infliger des dégâts. D'accord. Maintenant, on est un peu libre de ce qu'on peut faire. Hop là, raté. Balor not backing down one bit. Showing of agility from the champ there. Up and around, down. Okay. Tilt the world Next. Backbreaker. Faire une provoque spéciale. Long fall and even harder impact. And Balor 
Balor's beam picked apart now. Finn Balor under see. the gun. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation from the crowd and get back into the fight. Euh, une pro... Alors attendez, provoque spéciale en appuyant sur haut oh, 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 en haut, c'est ce que j'ai fait pourtant. Attends, on va remettre du coup fin à terre. Ah voilà. Ah, il fallait que ce soit dans le ring sans doute. Wait a second, it's Logan Paul. Paul nails him with the clothesline. Apparently, Miz and Logan Paul are here tonight after all. They probably didn't appreciate SmackDown being taken over in their absence. But what's our champion gonna do about it? Miz said there'd be severe consequences if he put his hands on Paul. Il a rien dit sur le Miz. <rire> il a dit qu'il fallait pas attaquer Logan Paul. Mais il a rien dit contre lui-même. On va attaquer le Miz. The WWE Universal Champion will have to pay a price for attacking SmackDown's GM. I agree, Corey, but maybe not as costly as if he targeted Logan Paul. Things are certainly heating up between our dueling champions here on SmackDown. Normal. Du coup, on va sans doute avoir un match en équipe euh, avec Logan Paul et le Miz. C'est dommage que ce soit plus Teddy Long qui soit le General Manager, sinon... Il aurait déjà fait le match en équipe. En tant que général manager de SmackDown, je ne resterai pas les bras croisés euh, face à ces supposés talents qui s'incrustent dans le show et font leur propre match. Je ne tolérerai pas non plus les attaques gratuites. La semaine prochaine, pendant mon show, Pop Up ne fera plus pas partie du match d'ouverture. À la place, il se battra dans un show match non retransmis avant le show. <rire> il faut bien quelqu'un pour s'assurer que les caméras et la lumière... Euh qui vont me mettre en valeur fonctionnent bien. <rire> voilà. Bah écoutez, ça on verra ça la prochaine fois. Je vous remercie d'avoir suivi cet épisode de WWE2K24. On se retrouve demain pour la suite de l'aventure. D'ici là, je vous souhaite à tous une bonne fin de journée et je vous dis à la prochaine.